What's up everybody? Uh, in my previous video, I've explained how you can train and create a Docker image for your machine learning model. In today's video, you will learn how to push that container to your Docker hub to make it publicly available, then deploy that container as a web application on Microsoft Azure. If this is something you're interested in, let's get started. To successfully complete this tutorial, make sure you follow the previous video and I will provide the link in the description below for a quick reference. Let's have a look at the image that we want to deploy to the Docker Hub. So this is done by Docker Images. And here is the name of the image that we want to push to the Docker Hub. And having a Docker Hub can be uh, done by going to the dockerhub.com website and now you can create your account by providing your username and your password and this is my profile it's like you can see my username here and all the information and as you can see here everything is kind of blank there is no image pushed yet and this is what we're going to to perform let's log into the docker hub uh, this is done by running the following command docker login and this is going to ask for my username and my password and my username is zoom data signs zoom data signs and my password i'm going to type my password be aware that like when you're typing your password it cannot be seen uh, the same way you have you know typed your username that can be seen and this is also for security purpose so if you're not seeing anything don't worry about it just keep typing and my name, I mean, I'm gonna type my password. All right, if everything goes well, you're going to see this prompt saying logging successful. Now we have two more steps. The first thing is to give a tag to the image that we want to push to the Docker Hub. And this is done using this general format, which is Docker tag the image name, um, your Docker Hub name, image name again, and the tag name. So by completing all this information, I get the following command. So this command is Docker tag. The name of my image is spam classifier app. My Docker Hub username is zoom data science slash um, image name again is spam classifier and the tag version that I want to use is 0 0.1.2 you can name like you can put whatever name you want I can for instance say latest which is going to be the latest version of my image but let's say that I want to use 0 0.1.2 point two sorry all right now i have tagged my image and the next step is to push that image and the push is also done following similar command but we have the push come on here just provide your docker hub name image name and the tag name and here the tag name is the same 0 0.1.2.2 and the image name is spam classifier app um classifier up and my I forgot the slash here and my docker I mean yeah my docker hub username is zoom data science so just provide the zoom data science all right so this is going this command is going to push my image to the docker registry and the process might take a couple of time, you know, and it's creating a lot of process to push the image to the Docker Hub. Now the push of the image is completed. And if we just come to um, the portal and refresh, we are going to see the name of the image that has been pushed um, to, the, to the Hub. Here we can see that the image has been pushed a few seconds ago with the tag 0 0.1 and the operating system is Linux. Now we're going to use this image and deploy it on Microsoft Azure as a web application. First of all, we need to have a Microsoft um, Azure account and here is my account. And from that, first create a resource group 
And from the resource group, since we are interested in creating a web application, so look for web app and select create. From this part, we need to create a resource group and I have already an existing resource group, which is Zoom Data Science Deployment, but we can create a new, you know, just select create new and type the name of your resource group and click OK. And in my case, I have already my resource group created then I'm going to select um, Zoom Data Science Deployment. And now let's give a name to be, to um, the web application. This is a spam classifier, spam classifier app. And the deployment strategy that we want to use is a Docker container, right? And the region here is East US. So most of the time when making deployment is better to you know deploy to the closest region in my case for instance i'm using um east us because it's the closest region to me here don't bother with this section which is linux plan leave it the way it is and click docker next all right and option is single container image source is docker hub because we have pushed the image to the docker hub right and access type is public to make it publicly available and the image tag here so to find the image tag just come to your docker your docker registry and copy this one copy this the full information i mean the whole information and paste here but be careful the tag name make sure that you change the tag name and here the tag name is 0 0.1.2 and we're going to change the tag name to 0 0.1.2 networking leave everything the way um, it is and then monitoring leave everything by default new tag leave everything by default don't put anything here and now review plus create and now we can check if everything is okay if there is something that we want to change click previews to make the change and if we are okay with everything now we can create uh, select create this might take a couple of seconds as well to um, deploy the application i mean the docker container and as you can see here the deployment is in progress and here deployment is complete once the deployment is complete what we can do is to go to the resource we are going to see a couple of information from the resource the name of the resource the status saying that the application is running the location which is east us subscription which is azure um, subscription one it's basically gives a bunch of information one of the important things is the domain name the domain name is the kind of url that allows users to access the application that has been deployed right and this is that uh, url by clicking this one it automatically redirects to the application and as you can see here the application has been successfully deployed to azure and you can send um this URL to anyone on this planet that person will be able to use your application and let's try to make a test um, yes I can say that I'm very satisfied with the deployment of my model and run the prediction and here this message is a harm congratulations you have learned how to deploy your machine learning model on Microsoft Azure in my next video I'll explain how to make the kind of same deployment but using this time a ci cd process with github actions which is one of the most important process of deploying machine learning models in industry and also something that i want to share with you here on in the logs when you come on activity logs click log and this log is going to show all the deployment steps of the application and Please like this video, share with your friend, and let me know in the comment section if there is something else that you want me to cover in my future videos. 
Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.